this is the perforate plate under the mechanical stress. In the previous case, we got the uniform stress distribution. And now we have the thin metal plate with the hole. And the hole is the source of the stress concentration. The plate has thickness of 5 mm and the force is applied here on the top edge. The bottom edge is fixed. And our task is to calculate the stress distribution in the plate. Again, for this uh, simple case, I will start from the scratch and show you all the steps. So I start quick field and create the new problem. I specify the problem name and the location folder. Here I specify the problem type the stress analysis and the model class it's the plane pedal I should also specify the thickness 5 millimeters and I should choose the formulation if you refer to quick field help theoretical description part the stress analysis formulations you may note that there are two formulations. The plane stress model is suitable for analyzing thin structures. And the plane strain model is used for thick structures, assuming that out-of-plane strains are negligible. So for my thin plate, I should choose the plane stress model. Now here you can see again the problem window and the geometry model editor window. Here I should draw the geometry model. I will check the dimensions. 180 millimeters by 240 millimeters. Now this is the plate and I should draw the hole inside. Now it has the radius of 30 millimeters. Now this is the geometry model. Again, I should assign the label for each geometric object. This is the plate. This is the bottom. And this is the top. Now I should specify material properties for each object. The Young's modulus is 20.7 gigapascals. And 
and the coefficient here is 0 0.3 the bottom the bottom side is fixed and on the top side the force is applied the force density is 40 newton per millimeter square so it is minus 40 newtons 10 to the power of 6 per meter square Now everything is ready, I can build the mesh, save all simulation files and run the simulation. Oop. From time to time you can saw the working message, not enough boundary conditions. We have not fixed the plate in horizontal direction. So there is an ambiguity in plate position. It could be easily fixed. The model features the horizontal symmetry, so we can add the symmetry axis give it the name and specify that the displacement, the horizontal displacement is zero on the symmetry axis. Now we have fixed the plate in horizontal direction fix the plate at the bottom in tactical direction, we can build the mesh and run the simulation. And here you can see the results. The results present the deformed form of the plate. Let's adjust the picture settings. We can see that actually the deformed shape display is scaled by the factor of 3000. It is done so we can see the change in the shape on the screen. If we change the scale factor to 1, then we will not see the deformation on the screen because the deformation effect is very small value. The maximum displacement value is only five six tenths of the millimeter. The six tenth of the millimeter. So if we will change the scale to 1, we would see nothing. So right now on your screen you can see the color map of the displacement. But we are interested in the stress distribution. So I will switch the, off the deformed shape and switch on the color map of this principal stress. You can see indeed the hole in the plate causes the stress concentration here and here. And we can see not only the color map the value of the stress but also the direction of the stress. I will switch on the tensors and will adjust the scale so you can see better.
Now you can see the value of the stress and the direction of the stress. You can see in most part it is compressing stress because we push here, push down here, but in some parts due to the concentration caused by the hole we have the elongation stress.